so there have been people asking me how I do my color correction and I would do a normal tutorial but I hate going into like After Effects and like putting the text and stuff and rendering it it takes so long so I'm just gonna do a video with a voiceover on how I do my color correction so first bit um, is I put three adjustment layers and I make the whole clip long because normally I like to like change them for each every time the area changes so here I grab all of these and cut pull above here's like the same area so I just come to my next thing cut pull above it changes like a little it's worth like changing what I put my color on so I'll change that and then here is pretty much the same exact thing up till here. So I cut this, I'll put this above, and I'll come to here. Boom, and I'll cut that. You see, there's a little bit, there's a few milliseconds of where the area changes. It's only two, so I don't really think it's worth going and cutting since it's on the same beat. So, oh no, I shouldn't have cut that. Okay, here, so this is the same stuff. So, cut. Once the area changes, I just keep doing this for all of my edit, like the whole length. So this takes a little bit of time, not too much. It's worth it for me. And then here, I'll just cut it here because it gets a little darker here. So like on the outside, so I might change the highlights up for that. So just in case I do, I cut it, and then I just leave that there. So now on the first one, what I do effects and presets, and then I'll just search detail, preserving upscale, and I'll put it on my first thing. All of these to 100, and then do detail preserving. Basically, for this one, I put like my unsharp mask. Um, let me show you guys an example then. So I put my unsharp mask and like my mask is on the third layer. So these are my values. You can obviously use your own. Just what I do for mine. And then I put the sharpen above the unsharp mask. I just like it like that to be honest. Okay here. So if I like scroll in. If I go to like a frame here say here I go to her like say her sword if I turn the detail preserving layer off that's what it looks like so like um that's what it looks like without the detail preserving you see it's just way too sharp without the detail preserving like I know some people think sharp is meant to be this sharp but it's really not it's way too sharp if I put the detail preserving one on it you know it just tunes stuff out really it just like makes it look much better it sharpens the bits that need sharpening and then it leaves the rest out there so then I just grab this I control C to copy it and you can hold control on your keyboard and select all of the first layers Okay, that's it, and then you can just press Control V, and they've been pasted onto all of these. I click on any of these, it's there. Next, I'm gonna do, I do my sharpen and unsharp mask first, because the next bit takes a bit of time. I use the same values for um, all of the um, clips, since, unless I think it needs changing, because I, I do review it after, while I do my magic bullet looks, which is the harder part. Okay, now we're gonna do the magic bullet looks. So I like to come to a scene where there's like, it's the most important part and I'll need to really look over this so this is a bit different different since I use like the same effects for most of my magic but it looks on each layer I just put the magic but it looks on the second one. Oh no did I put my on? oh that's a mistake I have to paste them here okay um, I'm back <laughs> after a little deleting of like the unsharp mask and sharpen on the second layer and putting on the third 
that's like as I should have done in the first place but anyways so then I put looks on the second layer and before I like paste onto all the other ones it'll take really long reapplying all the effects so what I do is I just click on edit on my looks then I wait for it to load it does take a little while but yeah and then it's gonna take a little while to like let me open the tools menu yeah it's not responding Here we are. It's gonna take another second to like load this and stuff. This is what I find annoying about the magic bullet looks, but it's all worth it in the end. Also in the magic bullet looks, it will not show your unsharp mask or sharpen since you put it above the looks layer. Obviously you can put it under if you want, but I'm just showing you guys what I do after all in the end of the day, so really up to you. So then I get Mojo 2, it should be next to the rainbow box. If you don't have time to look at the names, obviously I already know it, like without looking at the name. So what Mojo does is it pretty much like refines the colour. This looks a lot better. But I think this is a bit too much. So I'll turn it down to like 10. It gives us a massive impact. I know it didn't look like it, but it does. Punch, I start off with like 30. Because punch like darkens it, I think, or something. But yeah, and if you want some of the clip to leak in, you can just use fade. It just makes it look a bit more grey, but it actually just makes... If I put my fade to 100 it'd be hella gray but it just like makes it look a bit more normal but i'm just going to leave it at this next i put lut in the post area i put it to subtitle you can obviously play around with these oh polaris looks nice <laughs> i didn't actually know that but here i normally put subtitle so i normally put mine to 13 it just makes a teeniest difference if you think it's not enough you can obviously turn it up i'll just turn it up I might end up using Polaris on this actually. Yeah, I use Polaris on this because I just found out about it. Bit weird when I'm making a tutorial, but normally I use subtitle. This just I'll, I do fiddle around with them though, because like I've used Polaris before and stuff. But for default, I use subtitle, and if it doesn't look good, I just play around with all of them. Next, I come to subject, and then I put curves. With curves, I can basically like if I come to the round three quarters here, put it up. It makes it lighter and if I come like one quarter down it makes it darker obviously this just changes the highlights in some areas and it shadows it around like the edges and ends and stuff if you do fiddle around with it now for pop normally when I use pop I do a hundred a hundred a hundred but that's only on some of them you see here the pop is way too high like if I were to click enter holy that pop that's literally way too high it's not that bad if you look at it in that way but it is bad like i normally keep mine at 30 or 20 oops done that again so yeah um i'm gonna put this down to like 30 oops don't know what's happened okay there we go and i'll put this down to like 25 maybe i'll put this to 32 there we go so this looks good this is like all the effects i use i don't use anything else i don't put anything in these sections just subject and post i use okay yeah that looks good now i copy this and i paste it oh why is this still here they were gone yeah they were gone can we double check one more time pretty sure i obliterated all of them <laughs> yeah okay they're all gone so then i'll just um come to the second one for all of these oh no using control click just all of that okay and then i'll just paste so now i have it everywhere oh my god my computer's been lagging here okay now first of all my text oh no i'm gonna lift my text above the um mojo layer sometimes for my text if you guys are using text i like to have it um on on top of the mojo and stuff but i just like the sharpen on it sometimes you know because if i put like this under the mojo it looks good and all but it sort of like gets rid of the whole effect at the start and stuff so i like to have it above that way it still looks like pretty natural it looks really sharp though, so I might just keep this 
left above. Mm, now I'll just keep it under. It's way better under. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now on the next clip. Oh my. This looks good, I guess. I might. Yeah, I'll try playing around with it just to see what I can do to make it look better because even if it looks really good, sometimes I just play around with it. Oh my god, it's done that again. And then you, I'll just have to wait for it to load. <sighs> okay, here we are. It's loaded now. So, LUT Polaris. Oh, it's not even loading the preview there. But on Polaris, I think it does, it does absolutely nothing, really. There's a littlest change. I'm going to put this to sub size then. Ooh, that makes it dark. I'll try like offspring oh no dade oh what does this do hmm i'm just gonna use polaris then it brightens nah it's not good actually i'm gonna put a subtitle and then i'll just tune it down to 13 there we go and then for the mojo oh that's high i might put it down to like four alter the punch down to like 15 yeah that seems good I guess and then without the pop well pop normally just sharpens out the sides and edges so you don't really have to have it too high so I'll probably put this to 50 and the size to like 50 looks good for the curves it's not really that much to be honest it does make a massive difference though I think that looks good. We just made it. We just made it lighter. To be honest, light looks good to me. So I just, I just, just how I like it. This looks perfect. This is good, I guess, since it's really fast scene, so not many people are gonna have time to pay attention. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna alter this a little i want it to be a more light brighter scene so i'm just gonna play around with this okay here we are we're in our mojo setup so this looks like good i'm gonna turn this up it makes it look brighter you see if we come zoom into here it has like more attention to the color oh this kills the brightness this punch needs to do it down 10 oh no i put it's 100 shit um there you go 10 yeah that looks good like it's not too much just enough to make it look good here i'm going to turn this up a little there we go and then on the pop i don't think that's enough to be honest I might turn this up to 75 size to 50. i know using too much pop is really bad this is just enough to like brighten it up it's going to be really bright yeah that's how I like it, to be honest. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put the text like what I did last time. Boom. Obviously, I use shift to grab these since they're under each other. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna what? Where's the color correction? Here it is. All the way at the top. I'm just gonna pop it under there, and boom. There we go. That looks good to me. Boom. This color correction. Oh no, wait. This color correction looks good, I guess. Yeah, that looks good. This is looking fire. I may need to turn the pop up a little, but I'm not sure about that. Oh my god. This is looking good. Yeah, that's looking. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna cage this and look over it, and then I'll decide. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. So that's it for today's tutorial, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I could. I was able to help you guys, and stay safe and have a nice day. I guess that's what I can say.